Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. In every expansion since Forge of the Barons, we have seen diamond cards added to Hearthstone. And today, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to go back through every major expansion and look at what card should be remade into diamond because we've seen them going back and making diamond cards as well as one inclusion that would just be amazing for the game of Hearthstone if they would do it. The thumbnail is probably a pretty big giveaway. Speaking of giveaways and diamond cards, we are giving away three battle pass reward tracks out of my pocket. All you have to do is like and comment on the video in the description below. Subscribe to the channel if we hit 56,000 by Tuesday. Again, probably not gonna happen. But if we do, I will add another uh, rewards track to the giveaway, which does include the Diamond Murloc home. So yes, as you see here, Diamond cards added to Hearthstone. Some of them are pretty awesome. They were first introduced, uh, I believe it was introduced, you had like uh, Blade Master was one of the first Diamond cards added to the game, but they've gotten better and better, looking at like a Sir Finley as he rotates around. We're gonna have Murloc Holmes and Olgra in the latest expansion, but if you go back Back, they've added Janice Barov. They've added Lothab as well as Ragnaros in Classic. So let's go through expansion by expansion and what card I think would be the most iconic and let me know in the comments below which you agree with, disagree with. It should be a really fun debate. So since Legacy and Nax already have their diamond cards, we're gonna go to GVG. And to me, for Goblins versus Gnomes, it has to be Dr. Boom. Imagine him diamond. In particular, they would have to animate or very likely animate diamond boom bots. And there's just not a lot of iconic cards from GVG. Close second to me would be Malganus, but overall I'm gonna favor neutral legendaries almost every time. And in that vein, Blackrock Mountain, I gotta go with Emperor Thorson, one of my favorite cards of all time. He doesn't really see play, so it would be kind of a moot point in terms of playability, but I'd love to see him in Diamond. My honorable mention's gotta be Grim Patron though. By the way, why is this not golden? That that seems sacrilegious. Let's, uh, let's fix that problem. Grim Patron. Absolutely be really cool diamond because he could keep, just keep spawning other copies of Diamond Grim Patron. The Grand Tournament's another rough one, but just a card True Heart would just be a really cool diamond card. You don't really play her anymore. She would she was the original upgrade to your hero power and definitely saw play and just would look really cool diamond. But if you look through all of uh, TGT, there's not a lot of great picks. So Aviana maybe, Mysterious Challenger. Nah, I would go just a card True Heart. League of Explorers, it's gotta be Reno Jackson. One of the most iconic cards, plus he's in standard right now. You would see a standard introduction to a diamond card. You could definitely mention Brand Bronzebeard as well. Pretty much just as good. Well, actually, if you look at standard, hell of a lot better. For me, iconic wise, it's gotta be Arena. The Old Gods to me is a toss up between the OG Cthulhu. Just doesn't see a lot of play or like any play. You could make an argument for Nizoth. There's already a diamond version of this exact artwork in Mercenaries, but I gotta go Yogg. Diamond Yogg, maybe cast diamond spells somehow. Probably not, but to me, probably Diamond Yogg. But again, any of the Old Gods, I, I definitely could be warranted diamond. For Karazhan, I'm gonna go Medivh the Guardian. I mean, him blinged out in diamond would that not just be appropriate Medivh in diamond or you could go the really evil route and go Barnes uh let, let's not encourage that card please Mean Streets of Gadgetson, I just, it, it, it's Patches, right? It's Patches the Pirate. I don't exactly love Patches the Pirate. It's a pretty, uh, whatever, you know, frustrating card at times, but I, I don't care. It's gotta be Diamond Patches. You could look at like maybe an Eye of Blackpaw or uh, even my Golden Mayor Noggin Fogger because it's the only way to say sorry, Stale. As a Canadian, that's important to me. But yeah, for me, absolutely 100% Diamond Patches would have to be the way to go. Also, shout out to Finja. This card was super rad. For Ungoro, again, go on neutral, Elise the Trailblazer. Imagine getting a Diamond Ungoro pack and then all Diamond Ungoro cards, but probably not. But they could make a Diamond pack. That would be really cool. And yeah, Elise is a pretty cool, iconic card from this expansion. I keep wanting to be in the core set. I keep I keep wanting this to be in the core set, but it just keeps on happening. But yes, Elise, definitely my pick. With an honorable mention, just to one of my favorite cards of all time, Shares and Corpse Flower. Probably wouldn't see play, but this guy just knows how to boogie, and Diamond Ooga Booga would be just really cool. For the Frozen Throne, there, there's a quite there's quite a few options to go, but neutral wise, how can you argue with the Lich King in Diamond? We've already seen what it looks like in Mercs, and well, in game it would look absolutely iconic. I will mention though, a Diamond Jaina would be absolutely awesome. A Diamond Gul'dan as well would be a really cool pick, but for me, it's just kind of hard to ignore the Diamond Lich King for all it's just 
epic value. And then like Diamond Death Knight cards. How awesome would that be? Kobolds of Catacombs is one that I honestly don't think you go neutral. Zola is probably your best option. But you know what? For me, I'm going to go with a Diamond Weapon. Diamond Kingsbane would be just a really cool, iconic, infinite weapon with diamond on it. I just think it'd be pretty cool. I'm nerfed you poison to go with it. Okay, don't go that crazy. Although I would actually condone that. And I'll even give a shout out to Rin the First Disciple. Imagine all the seals, diamond, and then your 10 mana reward also being diamond. That would be a really cool one. For the Witchwood, Baku, Baku or Gen, both, both diamond. I mean, that was the Witchwood. It was all about these zero power cards. They were ridiculous. They were too good. But how can you really argue about making the diamond? They still see play today in wild. I would definitely be down for that. Although you could make a big argument for Shutterwalk as well. That diamond value also, imagine a full board of diamond Shutterwalks. Honestly, I'm, I'm switching my vote. Audible mentions to Baku and Gen. Let's go Diamond Shutterwalk. For the Boomsday, there is one major option, and that is Zilliax. Zilliax, make a diamond. I mean, it's the most loved card in Hearthstone, but there's one problem. There's one problem with that. Thumbnail, Wiz Bang the Wonderful. How can you not make Diamond Wiz Bang? That's the card the whole video was inspired about from a Reddit thread I saw a while ago. Imagine Diamond Wiz Bang in the core set would just be so freaking rad. Not all diamond decks, but imagine Whizbang. Core set diamond looking as cool as he could. My goodness, I would love to see that happen. But also, you know, Zilliax is pretty rad too. Rostikin's Rumbles got some hot garbage, but thankfully I got one vote and it's for Shrivala the Tiger. I just think this card is rad. It's iconic and would look really good diamond. Rise of Shadows, I don't know, Archivist Elysiana. You could go Chef Nomi, but... Let's go with um, some disgusting iconic cards here. Archmage Vargoth, very hated. Big pre-style card or completing multiple quests in Mage when that was relevant. Probably be pretty sweet diamond, but uh, hard to condone that one. So you know what? I'm just gonna say Elysiana. Savior's Oval Doom, I think a lot of people would love to see Zephyrus Diamond, but personally, I just think Siamot would look really cool diamond and was just a really well-designed good card. And I'd like to see that. And you know, it can gain taunt taunt. Descent of Dragons, you gotta go Dragon Queen Alexstrasza. Plus it could get other diamond dragons possibly. Pretty busted. And I'll just throw out an honorable mention for Shuma because well, Dexter likes Shuma and I like Dexter. Ashes of Outland, I'm gonna go with a Prime Legendary because they were so cool because you'd get a Diamond Prime. Astromancer Solarian into a Diamond Solarian Prime would be absolutely awesome. Just imagine this diamond, it would look so good. And since Skullamance already has a diamond card, we will leave off with the last expansion not to have one, Dark Moon Fair. And again, it's between the old gods for me on this one. I love the Diamond Cthune, imagine all the fragments put into the deck all be diamond cards and i just love playing this card in like druid and wild there were so many cool archetypes with this cthune so for me i would go with diamond cthune so that's all the diamond cards i'd love to see including please diamond whizbang or just whizbang in the core set would just be such an awesome move for players imagine having access to deck recipes diamond card to boot why not blizzard let's do it anyways if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe share your favorites in the comments below have a great day and stay salty my friends